linear prediction okay here we want to move from this point to this point what we want we want the shortest possible route yes. or you can say we want to predict the path depend yeah you can say linear <coughs> path or the anything predict on a linear path for example in last example i told you people from moving from point a to point b for example some farmer tra transfer the fruit from haripur to islamabad on the way tesla want to predict its price so somewhere along the line prediction along the line is known as a linear prediction or linear predictor so in this there is something happening and this is the accuracy as you can say sometimes we can get a profit or some can time we can get a loss. loss so important thing is last minimization that our loss should profit it doesn't matter okay we, we can get maximum profit but the mostly people are crying okay due to loss so artificial intelligence main purpose is to minimize the loss and from moving from one point to another during the point during the stage of prediction very much important thing is the loss minimization now situation is this there are two possible scenarios for example in case of banking okay amount is in form of a discrete values okay some of currency discrete values you need to use okay from point a to point b or some of if you are have different points then you will use the discrete basically if you are minimizing the loss you need to optimize the system and in case of optimization in the real world there are two possible scenarios one is the discrete optimization another is the continuous optimization let me talk about the discrete optimization so in discrete optimization you want to minimize the point of course point belong to some path and there's the cost okay this one you can say you need to minimize the cost with the cost along the route path okay with the help of points yes, so how it can be achieved heuristic with the because we are initial thing we are talking about the prediction prediction along the along the line so if you are talking about prediction then first of all we should know about the line for the line this one is it okay yes, yes sir and if i am saying for example we are considering any three points sir may i yes please so in these three points just on contrary okay if there are tons of points then it become the continuous but if you are limited points uh, the discrete values uh, then you will apply the system where okay in this case if i generalize this equation in form of index value because in index i is 3 okay 1 2 3 3 points so unknown here to us this is the slope and this is the intercept intercept yeah intercept value starting point like in the case of farmer okay very much important then this intercept value for example the initial price of the fruit will be updated in the local market okay as i at the field or maybe we export it to the okay abroad then of course price will be updated but on what the intercept value and we have for which will change this will change slope will change are you getting the point yes. so 
Now it is a very much critical situation how we can get the intercept value. My children, you can make some kind of a graph. graph. If we consider the three points, 0, 1, another point is what? 1, 0. Sorry, 2, 1, 2, one. Two, one. Just, okay, just I, 3, 4. Uh, thank you so much, thank you so much. 3, three, four. Four. Oh, 4. So, if there is some kind of a line, of course, these points may do not lie exactly on the line. Yes. So, in this case, for example, yeah, the, zero, zero, zero. the first one, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, and similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4. My children, this point. Intercept. Yeah. In first, I'm talking about the first one. Where the x-axis is 0, y-axis is at 1. And once the x-axis is at 2, the this one. Is it okay? Yes. And once the x-axis is 3, then this. This one. Yes. So of course, these are kind of a okay, you can say Errors. the Errors. Yeah, you can say somehow. But distance from the distance. Scale. As I told you people, what we need to do, we need to minimize. <coughs> minimize the scale. scale. My children, important thing here, we, by minimization problem, we need to, because in order to get a line, what we need to know? We need to know the value of intercept and slope. So we will get a line, okay? Then in this situation, we have three points, and of course these three points are not exactly on a line, on a straight line. In order to minimum loss, loss should be minimum. Once the point will close near to the line, straight line. So your prediction, linear prediction. In start of class, I told you people about the linear prediction. So it will go in a very well way. Here I can consider this equation of a line in this form. And if I sum up all the points from 1 to 3, I can express like this. <coughs> My children, we know, intercept at, in last class, you told me that is some kind of a constant. Benchmark value, irrespective of anything, it's the okay, owner's choice, it's the whatsoever, it does not bend. So where, what should be here? What should be here? One. One. Brilliant. Awesome. This is the one. Because one is what basically? One is the one. multiplicative identity. Whatever you multiply with one, then you will get the one. same one. So if you multiply with C with one, C is a constant. But yes, here, because you are summing this one, how many times? Three times. Three times. Because there are three points. So my children, yes, now this, this equation, please. Remember this equation. Now you have three, okay? Y, one, one, one four, four become six. six. You sum up. You will write six. six. And here, how many value? One, 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 three, five. One, two, three. Five, five M plus what? Three, three, C. If someone do not understand the three here, please raise your hand. Huh? Sorry, five M. You do not get it. It's my fault, my child. It's totally my fault. None of you. So this one is oh, this one is the word zero. <coughs> x one, x two, x two, x three, x three. Yeah. So you sum up x one, x two, x three. You will get five. Yes. Yeah. Is it okay? <laughs> Sorry. Three. Because this one is a constant. This is a c. Okay. If you multiply c with one. You get the multiplication. See, basically, you need to apply the solution and you need to apply this solution on 1, yes, not C. So, because there, if there is any variable, x, y, you don't need to mention of 1 because x, 1 multiplied with x becomes x. So, there is nothing so 1. But it goes from 1 to 3, a kind of a submission. So, you need to sum 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. Because we are dealing the three points. I see, is it clear? Yes, you are very okay, important. All are important. Okay. Okay. So this one is the equation A. My children, 
we need another equation. For what purpose? For process of elimination. Because if we have two equations, then we can easily eliminate for, for getting the value of C or for getting the value of M. Mm. So how we can make another equation? If we multiply this equation, the first one, with some variable. For example, if I multiply this with X, I, okay, so if I say, Do you have any objection? Understand it? I multiply throughout the equation with some variable x. Okay. So now we can. No, we need to multiply the okay these two value of x and y. Then sum up all the three. For example, in this situation, <coughs> there is a okay zero multiply with one. Zero. 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 Two multiply with one. Two. 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 Three multiply with four. Twelve. 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 Zero. Two. What? Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. So here, my children, you will get get fourteen. Fourteen. Now m as it is, you will consider the five. Okay, each point. Remember here, don't mix up. Don't make it twenty-five because in case previous case, so no, no, each point will be scared individually because the like x one. Scale plus x two scale. Okay, it's like this. Then in this situation, zero scale, two scale, three scale. What the answer? Thirteen. Thirteen. So in this situation, of course, you can write five c. This is the b. Say five c plus. Five c. This one is the x i. Simple. You sum up like okay, this one zero plus two plus three five, the same like previous case. So now a and b. If we multiply equation a with thirteen and b with or b with five, then in each case we can get rid of the m value and we get the c intercept value. But we will get the intercept value, then we can go align the point. Okay, make equation of line. We can get the equation of line in a beautiful way. Are you getting the point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is okay. We need to use the uh, this one uh, algorithmic tool in this situation. The algorithmic tool is like what? Someone can you tell me? Six. Yes, sir. Minus ten. Sorry. You will multiply both the equations. No, no. We already get. We already get the intercept C M whatsoever. We need to develop algorithmic tool in the case of discrete. That is the dynamic programming. Do you know about the dynamic programming? No, sir. Yeah. If you don't know, then how I can know? Come on, okay. Study. Please. Google about the dynamic programming. Yes, Please come tomorrow. Right? No, we don't have too much. You can notice I am running here. Okay, okay, time is up. Yeah, that's what I am interested in. Please. Okay, in case of this is clear. In case of this grid, you need to apply dynamic programming, and the team will work behind this. Okay, you need need to make okay just like question of line, but line linear predictor. Yes. The second one is the continuous optimization. My children, continuous optimization. Of course, you need to again in this continuous optimization, you need to deal a vector or matrix, whatsoever. So for this purpose, you need to again minimize the loss. Minimize the loss. For this purpose, you need to know about some weight parameter, some weight parameter, and this should belong to somehow uh, maybe n-dimensional data. So that error, you need to basically. In this situation, you need to minimize the error, and for 
once we are talking about the error, we know we need to deal with the lead scale. Or you can say simply we are talking about error, we need to get the difference between the target and the predicted one. Meditation data. Difference. That is giving you some kind of an error. Least accuracy. Yeah, what's the least? If you make the better accuracy, you need to determine the scale. Is it okay? Yes, sir. This is the least scale error. And my children again here, for example, your target is somehow y and your predicted okay predicted value somehow why does whatever by now yeah why you can also depending upon some weight parameter theta okay? okay you can why not why not or why sub theta whatsoever yes i agree today, but try to understand the thing yes. <laughs> my children again here the concept of a line with work forget about this target is clear okay benchmark thing you need to make the difference. If the target and the predicted value become equivalent, then the difference becomes zero. 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 Benchmark, like original things. Yes, okay? But you need to know this should follow some kind of a linear prediction. For this purpose, you can say this is some kind of a hypothesis, and this hypothesis make consider number of examples. For example, M represent number of examples and of course X represent the feature number of features. For example, if you want to buy some house, you <coughs> may visit more than 5 or 10 houses, then in this case M equivalent 10 houses, you are examples 10. If you will say on, see only, notice only one house, then you will not have enough data, then accuracy, okay, prediction will not go to one. So, number of examples are high, then your prediction will high. Okay, good, accurate, more accurate. So, of course, if you are talking about a house, you need to notice the number of features, for example, number of rooms, number of doors, number of okay, floors, whatsoever. Yes, there are certain amount of features in it. And of course, if you are observing this, the quality of the okay, rooms or the walls or the doors, it depends upon some kind of a weight parameter. Edge of weight. Then this is the weight, you can say, quality. Of course, if you will not pay a huge, okay, hefty amount for the low quality house, of course you will observe it. Yes, sir. Amicably. So, in this situation, again you need to make equation of line. How this equation of line will develop? Like this. Okay, so, okay just for a moment, ignore this transport, I will explain it later. So, this is the two vector. I told you that in the previous case, continuous optimization, we are dealing both of the vectors. Theta is also a vector because weight parameter also in form of a vector and the features also in form of a vector. vector. My children, if we are considering the here in this situation, okay, we know this is what this is somehow you can say hypothesis value. And hypothesis value, the weight vector is somehow you can say. Okay, just consider the two, two, two values, well, two values of the weight parameter. Similarly, we are talking about the two value of x. <coughs> now, if we multiply, okay, as I was telling you about the transpose, because one should be in form of a transpose, then we'll multiply with another number of row of column, okay, so like this, then you will get hypothesis in form of theta naught x naught plus theta 1 x 1. My children, very much important here, the point, turning point of the interest. As I told you, this x naught, this one, this one, always equivalent to what? 1. Always equivalent to what? 1. 
far less. Because if you are talking about house, you are nomination, nominating the house category. Then will represent with one. If you are talking about school, then you will say one for school. Then theta naught is the intercept value. You observe that, for example, this university, one for university, okay? Then you are, you will say, now, this one is the clear cut. Weight is the university, maybe public sector or private. It's yes, the weight value starting. X1 represents the number of program, programs, okay? And theta1, the quality of program again. For example, computer science, which one is the better one? Yes. Are you getting the point? Yes. So, my children, this is not uh, any different thing, okay? If I just get rid of this, you can notice this is again become what? This is again become, okay, like. So, this is again equation of line. This is again equation of line. Similarly, like this one, y 